Okay, so um, we're just going to uh, do a couple of questions for the panel. I invite you to uh, engage uh, the, uh, the panel here, and then um, we're actually going to uh, skip the uh, case reviews. Um, so any questions from the audience? So I have a, a question. Two of you mentioned the role of arthroscopy following uh, knee replacement. So can you just go down the panel and uh, tell me what you think the role of arthroscopy following knee replacement is? Dave? Uh, patellar clunk, I think, is probably the best reason for arthroscopy after uh, total knee. And even those people that have a lot of patellofemoral crepitus, uh, I will do it for stiffness along with the manipulation if I get out past three months. Okay. Steve? Uh, Great patellar clunk. Uh, for me, it's the patient who's failed two manipulations under anesthesia. I wait one year, let their knee quiet down, and then uh, some of my partners who do uh, lots of scopes, the sports guys, uh, actually do a really thorough debridement. And it works pretty well. Not great, but pretty well. Rich? Virtually never. Yep. Ted? I, I give them one manipulation, and if that doesn't work, if they're you know, six months or a year, then let, one of my sports partners is really good at it, do a very thorough debridement. I've had reasonable success with that as well. I'm, I'm like David, patella clunk or uh, somebody that it's stiff but it's a long time out and I don't want to manipulate without arthroscopy. Okay, and Bertrand? Uh, same as Dave, uh, except that I do my own arthroscopies. Uh, I would say that you can trust your, our sports medicine colleagues, but they're not the ones t too worried about how much scratching of the, of the uh, femoral component <laughs> might be caused. Uh, so uh, I do a fair number of arthroscopies in general, so I go ahead and do that, but you have to be prepared that the, it's not your 20-minute knee scope for a partial uh, menisectomy. This is a 45-minute case, uh, tissue ablator, you know, because you're going to get into some bleeders. Okay, yes or no, uh, I'll get to you in one sec, just on the same note. So is there a role for arthroscopy for treating infection post knee replacement? Dave? No. 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 All right, I like you guys. Okay. <laughs> question from the audience? Stop doing sonication. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I, I, I don't do it because we don't know what to do with the answer. So does anybody do anything different? Uh, Antibiotics amend on all my revisions as part of the treatment. And uh, if you're very concerned or you can get the sonication early, like after a day or two, at least some kind of results, then you can do six weeks of IV antibiotics because you already did the surgery. Okay. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> 